Hello, my name is Dave Glading. I'm a cloud protection architect at Zscaler, where I focus on the Zscaler for workload solutions. In this short video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how our CNAP solution, which we call Posture Control, can integrate with Terraform Cloud to inject security checks during the CI CD pipeline. So, you may have heard the term shift left security, which is applying security earlier in the development process. I was a practitioner myself for a number of years and understand how difficult it can be to apply security after something's in production. It may take days or even weeks to go through the change control process. With posture control, reduce risk to your business by enforcing security during the development cycle before the application is even deployed. We can perform security checks at multiple stages of the development process, whether that's when developers are actually writing the code with Visual Studio Code. We have a plugin that can do infrastructure as code scanning at that stage, you know, whether that's uh, as they're doing a, a pull request to GitHub or what we're going to focus on today is with injecting security check uh, checkpoints during the uh, CI CD pipeline process. So going into posture control itself, if I go over to administration, version control and CI CD systems, you see I've already added integration for my Terraform Cloud. If I hit the edit button over here, what we can also do is if you have multiple repositories, we can support that. I just happen to have one in this demo environment. But if I go over to advanced settings, here are the fail checks criteria I have specified for this particular Zscaler IAC workspace. So what this means is if during that uh, build cycle, if we identify any critical uh, security policy violations, we're actually going to fail the job so it wouldn't be able to proceed. So that is going to stop that security misconfiguration from making it to into production. So without a solution like posture control, this would be something you'd have to address after it's already in production, which is a big headache for everybody involved. And you can set different fail check criteria for different environments. So for example, if I did have a development or a staging environment, I could specify maybe I would also I would want to have different fail checks for those different environments in my infrastructure. So going to my IDE environment, Visual Studio Code, just a quick example of the local scanning. So this is a Terraform file where I'm deploying some infrastructure into GCP. If I've already run the scan anytime, I've got it configured. So anytime I save a file, it's going to run that scan locally. And you can see we've detected 34 uh, security issues with this. If I find one that's critical, for example, I can actually click the light bulb. And as well as telling the developer this is a critical finding, what's really cool and would be really hard to do without a tool like Posture Control is actually showing the recommended remediation directly to the developer in the tool they used to use in every day. So it's not a case now of this is in production, security team has done a vulnerability scan, done some checking, identified the issue and has to go track down the developer to go and resolve it. You know, we can reduce friction with the between the security and development teams by providing this information directly to the developer. So you can see here, over here in the right, this is some example remediation code that they could leverage to update the, update the code, save it, and work through these particular findings on their own time. But what I'm going to show you now is if I go over here to this main TF file, this is linked to my Terraform workspace. Let me go to my Terraform environment. You can see here, here is my Zscaler IAC workspace in Terraform Cloud. It's also linked to my GitHub repository over here. If I open that, I've just got a, some really basic files that's just, in this example, it's just going to deploy uh, an Ubuntu EC2 instance into my AWS environment. So I have a local copy of the code here that's linked to GitHub. So let's say I am heading out of town. I, I'm not sure where I'm going to be in the next few days. So I am going to add a security group that's going to allow me to access this EC2 instance from anywhere. You can see here I've got a group that's allowing SSH on port 22 from any IP address on the internet. Now as security professionals we know this is not a good practice and is going to open up a lot of the attack surface to anybody on the internet but maybe I'm a developer and I just want to get easy access to it. So now let's go ahead and save this. Now if I go over to my source control here it's been, the change has been detected. I'm going to commit it. I'm going to add a description, updating security group. Yes, I do want to save it. So now if I look at Terraform Cloud, this should immediately trigger 
a run as part of my CI CD pipeline. So we can see here this, this plan is now queued. We go ahead and click on it. So the plan is now running. So it's going to be creating a couple of resources for me. Here's that EC2 instance, which happens to be Ubuntu, and also that security group I created a minute ago that's going to allow me to access this EC2 instance from anywhere. So here's the code that's going to allow 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, .0, 0, 0 any access. And you can see as well, so now the Zscaler IAC scan is running. This is going to take a couple of moments, so let me pause. Okay, so our security scan has finished, and you can see here we've actually failed the job. Expanding out the Chevron a little bit, we've detected six issues with this code, one being critical, two high, one medium, and two low. And if you recall uh, from a, a couple of minutes ago in the demo, I showed you that our fail check was specifically looking for anything that's critical, so that's why this has failed to run. So posture control and the IC scanning has detected this security misconfiguration, which is in violation of our policies and prevented the build from going into production. So this would be very difficult to do without a tool such as posture control. If we go ahead and click on the details, this is gonna take me over to the posture control portal and give me some more context and information about what this particular security violation is. So you can see here under alerts, under infrastructure is code alerts, here's the scan ID. The plugin type we're using today is Terraform Cloud, the number of policy violations, and overall there's six associated with the scan ID, the date and time, what type of, type of template was, in this case it's the Terraform plan, and which cloud it was. So here's all the alerts, and the one we're specifically focused on is that critical alert. So you can see, ensure that security groups does not have unrestricted SSH access, click on the alert ID itself, and here's the, this is an out of the box policy, so there's no need to create custom policies for this posture control out of the box comes with hundreds of policies at your fingertips and if you do want to create custom policies we make that simple as well for you with our uh, kind of powerful but simple UI so we detected there's incoming traffic allowed on port 22 and here's the remediation steps some example code the developers could take to remediate this particular configuration so just in summary we've used the integration between um, the out of the box integration with posture control and Terraform Cloud to scan this infrastructure as code as it's going through the build pipeline and it's failed a critical security check. So we've prevented this from going forward into production. So this can be now be remediated. So we're not introducing that risk to the business. Now to learn more about posture control, you can reach out to your Zscaler uh, account representative or go to our website, you know, just search for Zscaler posture control. You can find out more information and also request a demo. So I hope you found this video useful and I appreciate your time.